All right, like, thanks for tuning in the channel today. Today we're gonna do a video on tires. And, you know, I'm guilty of it. I used to run big toy haulers, put brand new tires on them, get 200 miles down the road, have two blowouts. what I miss, right? Well, put brand new tires on this camper. Well, back then I wasn't paying attention to the speed rating on the tires. I looked at the weight, I looked at the, the ply, and basically just ran with it, right? And so if you look on your tires, you'll see right here, this is your speed rating. There's gonna be a letter at the end of the weight rating. So like, and, and you never wanna run 100% what the rating is. So if, you know, I live in Texas, speed limits are 75 miles an hour. I don't want a 75 mile an hour rated tire. I want an 81 or an 87 mile an hour tire, just depending on what I'm pulling. You know, my RV, if you're gonna run 70, that's probably about max speed I'm gonna, I'm gonna travel with it. So if I can get an 81 with the weight rating I need, I'm gonna go that route, right? And so, for example, on these tires, these are Goodyear Endurance, which I run the Goodyear Endurance. Now you'll see people say, well, I've had blowouts with those too. Yes, because certain sizes of Goodyear Endurance are 65 mile an hour tires. And I'm not saying you don't get a bad tire. I'm not saying you didn't get a nail in it. It wasn't low pressure. I mean, there's lots of variables in that. And that's another thing you wanna bring up. If your truck has the trailer TPMS or you can, you're ordering a vehicle, it's great. Because ever since I've been running that, I've never had any blowouts. I run within the weight rating, the speed rating, and then I also have the trailer TPMS, so I monitor my tires. One of the things that's interesting to notice is, went on a short trip this weekend, it was 90 degrees outside, these tires got up to 156 degrees, because the TPMS tells me that in my truck. So they warm up pretty good. On a day it was 59 degrees, these tires got to 115 degrees. So if you're in South Texas, or you're running in hotter temperatures, the hotter that tire gets, the more you're pushing it to blow out, right? And if you're running right at your limits on your speed rating or your weight, you know, all those things in account, if you leave a 20% cushion and all those things, when that tire heats up, you've got a little room. And so you're less likely to have a blowout. If you don't have trailer TPMS on your truck, you can go to e-trailer, you can go to any site and you can get those. They're pretty, pretty reasonable. Um, you put the sensors in your tires and then it's got a little dash thing or a little screen you put in your truck and you can see your, your tire pressures. Because a lot of times you either get a tire that has a nail or something like that, you're rolling down the highway, you don't know it. It's going to run until it blows out and when it blows out it's going to rip the bottom of your camper up it's going to cause all kinds of damage it's not worth it right i mean you can go get a trailer tpms thing for two three hundred bucks it's well worth its money okay so let's get back to the speed rating thing right here we're looking at these tires and what you'll look for is your weight rating and so this is a 129 slash 125 that's a letter after that this one has an n so if you look right here on my speed chart if you can see that, the N is an 87. So that's what I'm talking about. Now I've got a brand new boat right behind us. You can't see it, I haven't turned this around. And um, you know, I looked at the tires the other day, you know, we came home, we were running 70 with it, no problem. Um, but I looked at the tires, the tires have a 65 mile an hour rating. So if I'm gonna run 70, I better be looking for a different set of tires. So just something to pay attention to, something to be aware of. The other thing we're gonna talk about is the weight rating. So this camper is 17,000 roughly. Let's just go round numbers to make it easy. It's a 17,000 gross combined vehicle weight rating, right? 3,000 pounds of that is on the truck, okay? So we're dealing with 14,000 pounds. Now, both these axles are 7,000 pound axles, okay? These tires, so that's your 14, but these tires have a 4,080 weight rating. So that's me being above that rating a little bit. Now that's if I max loaded this camper with 4,000 pounds of payload because it only weighs 12,300 pounds. But if I maxed everything out, I would still have a window, okay? Because basically 4,080, I'm not going up, but four times four, that's 16, right? I would have 16,000 pounds of capacity on here on just the tires. I would be overloaded on the axles a little bit, but I still have a window on the tires. So that's what I'm talking about. You just wanna make sure you build your window, right? Make sure that your weight rating and your speed rating and all those things are as high as you can get them, but also be within tolerance, right? Because if you if you just go in and you say, hey, I want some 16 plies on here. They may put some 16 plies on there, but the speed rating is probably gonna be 65 miles an hour on a 16 ply radio. You've got to pay attention to that. And then if you put those 16 plies on there, your camper's running down the road and it's bouncing all over the place. You're literally like cracking things in the inside, your cabinets won't close, all your dishes are broke. I mean, so 
Yes, if it's a flatbed trailer that you're gonna haul equipment on, yeah, go the highest ply, who cares? Get a good speed rating on it too, because you gotta pay attention there also. But on your RV, you need it to flex. And especially if you're running a double, ax double axle or a triple axle, the triple axles are even more sensitive. You go put a 16 ply radial on there, and then you go make a turn, you start breaking, you're putting a lot of strain on your shackles and on your springs. Because when you're making that turn, those tires are supposed to flex. And when the tires don't flex, you're put, moving all that tension up onto your springs. And so a lot of times you'll do that and then you'll have other issues. You'll be breaking other things. So anyway, it's just good to stay within the ratings close as you can. Um, know your max vehicle weight ratings and, and know that you, you stay within a 10 to 20% on that. And you're usually pretty good. So with the TPMS system, with the right ratings and replacing the tires every few years, you should have very little blowouts. I mean, your, your chances are, are, are significantly minimized. Now, yes, you can still hit something in the road. You might have a defective tire. Those things can still happen. Generally for me, I try to run American made tires, Michelin. Like I said, I'm, I'm, the Goodyear Endurance is definitely one of the high ratings on me because I, since I've ran them on the past three RVs, I've not had any problem with any of those tires. And I've made it basically 12 to 1500 mile trips in the middle of the summer with the heat and I'll pull over and let them cool down every once in a while. You know, like we'll, we'll run generally four hours, three to four hours in the heat. And then I'll try to pull over, we'll take an hour break and then uh, go again. And that does help too. So anyway, that's roughly what I have on tires. I know there's all kinds of opinions. Y'all are welcome to drop them in the comments below. Everybody's got their thing. I'm just saying stay in the ratings. And even if you get the tires that aren't made in America, if you stay in those ratings are good, but a lot of times the tires that aren't made in America have a 65 mile an hour rating. And so they will blow out. So just pay attention to that. If you got a new RV, check it out. Go out and look at your speed rating. Check your weight ratings, make sure everything's good. That's all I got for today's video. Please hit that like, please hit that subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.